hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to detect traffic signs and we are going to convert the model the custom object detection model into dot tf light format means we are going to create our own custom object detection model which detect some of traffic signs then we are going to convert that model into dot tf light format so now it is really easy to run on non gpu computers means if there is a low hardware you can use this dot tf light format yolo model to detect your own custom object so here we are going to train our model which detect some of uh, traffic signs and then we will convert that model into dot t of light format so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends for today's session i have created a repository i will mention the link simply copy paste the link inside a web browser as we always do yellow 12 dot t of light custom just go to the code click on download zip and it will download our zip format repository so we downloaded our repository let's just minimize all these things open it go to the downloads folder this is what our repository right click then extract all click on extract and it will extract our repository as we always do then just go inside our repository so first we need our video file so vid.txt is a text file inside that i have mentioned the link of the video file so just copy the link which is basically the mega cloud link and then open web browser new tab control plus v hit enter it will open the cloud link where we have our video file so friends this is what our video file let's just download it so we downloaded our video file let's just close and then first we will open our video file so go to the downloads this is what our video file right click cut it and move inside our repository our repository is basically this one yellow 12.t of light and then just paste the video file so let's just watch first video file so friends uh, this is what our video file where we have traffic signs as you can see this is the stop or don't go and then this is what minimum speed and this is the another sign okay go ahead right and then uh, at the end we have go right sign okay so this is some of the traffic sign which we are going to detect with the help of yolo custom object detection model and the model which we will create we will convert into dot t of light format as simple as so here i have already trained the images and uh, i have used the roboflow and i have download all the data set in this zip file okay in this zip file which i have shared inside the repository so this is the zip file where we have data.yml file test train and valid folder so we want to unzip this file and we want to upload this file firstly on our google collab machine and then on google collab we will unzip simple so we have our video file now we will first create our model so this is what our google collab file so let's just open google collab so friends i have opened the google collab go to the upload and click on browse and then we want to go inside downloads and this is what our repository yellow 12 dot tf light custom main again same folder and this is what our google collab file just select it click on open it will upload our file so we successfully upload our file go to the runtime change runtime type python 3 t4 gpu and click on save and then just click on connect so we successfully connected now we will run our cell one by one first cell just run it then we will install alteratix package so friends we successfully installed alteratix package now just scroll down we will import our package so from alteratix import yolo then we will cross check if our alertics is perfectly installed or not so just 
So in the next cell, we will use yellow 12 and dot PT model. We have a dog dot JPEG image from RoboFlow itself. So if you scroll down, there is a result as you can see the person, one car, two dogs. It means we successfully installed our Ultralytex. Now we want to we want to upload our zip file on Google Colab machine. The zip file which I have shared inside the repository for for training purpose. Okay, in, in this zip file we have our data.yml file, train, test, and value file. Simple. So we want to upload this zip file on our Google Colab. So let's just open our Colab machine again and just click on this small folder icon then go to here here as you can see this is the upload option just select it and then now we can select our zip file so go to the downloads our repository and this is what our zip file select it and click on open here just click on ok now it will upload our zip file on our google collab so as you can see we successfully uploaded our file on our google collab so this is what our zip file now what we want to do we want to simply unzip so just go here click on three dot click on copy path and this is the path just remove the old path don't remove the unzip command just remove the old path and we copy the path just three dot copy path and just paste it here that's it and then just click on it it will unzip all the files and folder so it will unzip here here it is as you can see we have test train valid and we have data.yml file let's just double click on data.yml file uh, this one data.yml so just double click on data.yml and as you can see we have here our class which is the minimum speed no entry right turn and turn right ahead this is what our signs simple so for this this is basically our folder path so we want to change this path with our current path so test folder train folder value folder so first is train so go to the train click on three dot copy path remove the old path from data.yml file control plus v paste it valid so valid is here click on three dot copy path go here remove it old path control plus v paste it then test so test is here three dot copy path remove the old path and control plus v paste it then we have done let's just save it so just press control plus s it will save our data.yml file close it close it all the things now here we want to start our training so for that we want to mention the data.yml path so data.yml file is here just click on three dot copy path and remove the old path so data is equal to remove the old path and control plus v it will paste our new path epox 100 and image size 640 now let's just run the cell it will create our own custom model and then this model we are going to convert into dot t of light format okay so let's just wait for complete our training process so friends we completed our training session and runs detect train where we have our model best.pt so go to the runs folder then detect folder then we have train then we have weights and inside that weights folder uh, we have our model which is the best.pt model so here it is as you can see best.pt model so runs detect then train then wait and we have our best.pt model so we are not going to download this best.pt model because we want to convert this .pt format model into .t of light so only what we will do we will copy the path of our model and we will mention the model path over here and this code will be convert the model into .t of light format using image size 240 so base.pt three dot copy as a path and mention it here remove the old path remove the old path of the model okay and then just press ctrl plus v it will paste our new path and then just run our model 
and just hide hide the uh, sidebar okay so now it will run the code and it will convert our dot pt model into dot t of light format okay so let's just wait so friends our process is completed okay let's just scroll down and our model is saved inside content runs detect train waits and base save model folder so again just click on this small folder icon then we have to go in runs then detect then train then the weights and then we have best save model folder just again click on it let's just wait and then as you can see there is a model best float 32 here it is as you can see best float 32 dot t of light this is what our converted model in dot t of light we convert our best dot pt model into best float 32 dot t of light and this is the model as you can see best float 32 here 10.01 mb just click on it and then download this is the model which is basically in dot t of light format which we will use so we downloaded our model now let's just close all these things and our model will basically go inside our download this is what our model cut it move the model inside our repository just paste it now we will open our code which is the test.py and we need the package uh, actually we are going to use here tf light so we need tensorflow also so go to the tools manage package open cv hyphen python this is what our first package click on it first package click on install button that's it it will install open cv hyphen python remember one thing friends just upgrade it if there is an upgrade option just click on it and upgrade the package because for this dot t of light format we need upgraded open cv python version so just click on upgrade also okay then we need ultra -lytics. so ultra ultra -lytics. hit enter first package click on ultra -lytics and just click on upgrade it will upgrade our ultra -lytics package also so friends as you can see there is now no highlight of upgrade means we upgrade the package ultra -lytics package with latest updates now we want our tensorflow package so let's just search for tensorflow tensorflow hit enter tensorflow package first package tensorflow click on install button done it will install tensorflow there is no upgrade highlight means the package is perfectly updated so we need opencv hyphen python upgrade the package we need ultra -lytics for yolo upgrade the package then we need tf light so we need tensorflow package so I have already installed all the packages now this is what our model as you can see this is the model name best float 32 t of light you have to simply right click click on the rename and just copy the model and just mention the name over here and then this is what our video file and then our basic code is same we have our basic code from ultra -lytics. Now we are ready and we are going to simply run our code. So here it is as you can see I have skipped the frame. Why? Because if we use dot pt model without GPU, without high level GPU, we want to skip the frame. But right now we have dot t of light model. So there is no need to skip the frame. So let's just mention, let's just let's just close means let's just stop this line so we will simply mention hash hash okay hash okay now these lines are not work okay because we mentioned here hash now let's just save the code we mention our model we have our video file also now let's just watch without skipping any frame because we convert our model in dot t of light format also we convert the model into 240 img image size so watch it is work really smooth it is working really smooth okay so this is what our minimum speed sign this is what this is basically the turn right ahead sign board and this is what our right turn sign board 
as you can see simple so if you want to still if you want to skip the frame you can simply remove the hash and here you can change the number so here i have mentioned 3 so it will skip the 3 frame if you mention here 2 then it will skip the 2 frame so let's just skip the 2 frame and let's just watch the result So now watch we skipping here two frames it work really fast as you can see it work really fast this is the minimum speed this is the turn right ahead sign board and this is what right turn sign board simple so this is how friends you can convert the model into dot pt to dot tf light format for any custom object detection using yolo 12 i have shared the full code also i have shared the google collab file i hope you learned something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye